Hey friends, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. All right, today I'm gonna do my entire perfume collection. I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and do this video because I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to start reviewing perfumes in my collection. So I just think it would be helpful to kind of get them out. I'm just gonna clean them and organize them a bit. And if you see a perfume that you want me to review that I haven't yet, then you can feel free to let me know. Hopefully, but I'm sitting in my dining room and I'm using natural light, so I have my front window open, but Teddy, my dog, will bark at everything that goes by, like the wind. So I'm hoping that I can get through this without too many interruptions from him because he is such a curious little dog. So if you hear little nails in the background or any noise, that's, that's probably him. So these are gonna be in no particular order. I just, I'm grabbing all of them and I'm just gonna quickly go through them. I'm not going through all the notes that would take forever. I'll just tell you like what category I think they're in, what they kind of smell like to me, if they remind me of anything. Yeah, and we'll just go from there. So I'm literally just gonna grab. So my first perfume is Letta, which is 22 Auris. That's the name of the perfume. The brand is Letta. This is just a beautiful, like buttery, clean, but sweet. This is a great everyday perfume. It is absolutely stunning. Stephanie um, Letta, who is a content crea creator on here. This is her baby, her perfume that she just came out with last year. I really like this. Great I think signature scent, everyday. It's a beautiful perfume. So I love that. My next one is Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This is fruity, a little sweet. A little floral. This is such a sexy, uh, again, you could wear it anytime. I don't feel like they're, like you have to wear it in any certain season. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It's my like my husband's absolute favorite. The next one I have is Versace uh, Eros Pour Femme. This is the EDT version. My daughter actually has the actual perfume version. I gave that to her. And then my friend had gifted me this one. This is a like a citrusy, kind of sweet, but like very citrus, sexy. Again, this is so sexy. This uh, To me, this is so pretty in like the summertime. I love it. And what I love more about the EDT is, believe it or not, even though this is the EDT, I feel like it's longer lasting than the perfume. And the perfume version is more woody. This is definitely more sweet, so I love this version so much better. Next one I have is Eccentric Molecules. This, this is, is just, just like that one molecule fragrance that literally just kind of, you can either use it to layer with other fragrances to make the fragrance last longer, or um, this kind of creates its own fragrance based on your personal chemistry. Some people says it smells like you know, like kind of woody, like pencil shavings. Honestly, I'll be completely honest with you. Like I can spray it because I get, I literally get nothing from this fragrance, like nothing. I, I just, I get, it's like I sprayed water. So for me, this is more of a layering fragrance in hopes that it will help my other fragrances because I can't smell it at all. All right, my next one, actually we'll do these together. Hakator, I have the perfume and the EDT. Absolute favorites. This is like my one of my number one fragrances. These are spicy, um, smoky, kind of raspberry notes. The perfume version is a little bit sweeter. And then uh, the EDT version is, in my opinion, like a little bit like more fruity. I think this version is a little smokier even. They're so good. My favorite is this version. I do like them both. And when it's like really cold outside, I like this one because it's a little sweeter and heavier, but I actually like to mix them. But I'll wear this one all year. This one is really my favorite, but yeah, this is like a number one absolute favorite fragrance for me. All right, next. Now these are more perfume oils, but I'm still gonna consider them like a perfume because they're pretty strong. This is Delina, this is the body oil, perfume body oil. This smells exactly like Delina. 
like exactly because I have the little travel um, scent of Delina. This is awesome. I love it. It's a dry oil. It smells amazing. It lasts for a long time. It's probably not as long lasting as the actual scent, but I love it. And sometimes I will, I will mix this with so many fragrances, but yeah, I love that. And then I have Baccarat Rouge perfume oil. And to me, this Again, I've had the, the actual perfume like in samples. This smells exactly like the perfume, exactly. So if you're looking to try a fragrance, try the perfume oils. They're definitely less expensive and you can kind of try out the scent. And I, again, just like mixing this with some other perfumes, I go nose blind on this one. This, I, this doesn't give me that like cotton candy sweet, note that everybody talks about. I get a very medicinal, woody, like, I don't know. It, I don't get that sweet burnt. sponge sugar, no cotton candy, burnt sugar. I don't get any of that. It's just kind of like a woody medicinal scent for me. So it's not really my favorite. I've just never been able to smell it. All right, my next one is Flower Bomb, Victor and Roth. This is a beautiful, floral, sweet, sugary, warm. It is very warm. Oh, it is so good. This is like one of the prettiest fragrances. It's a little bit newer to my collection. Mm -hmm. I love it so much, you guys. I'm so happy to have this in my collection now because it's so good. That's definitely a favorite. These bottles actually remind me of that. This is, these are Ariana Grande. This is her first release, which is Ari. And then I think this is Sweet Like Candy. These are, these are not bad. They're just like very, very young, like very like teen, young teenage appropriate scents. They are sweet, but a lot of people talk about like the creamy marshmallow note, which is actually why I wanted to try them. I don't really get that. I get more, especially with this one, I get like, it smells like sweet tarts. It smells like that tarty, very sweet, fruity candy. This one's a little bit sweeter. Definitely has more of like that cotton candy sugar vibe, but I've never gotten a good creamy marshmallow scent with these. So yeah. Not exactly my favorites, but sometimes you're just in the mood to smell like candy. And every now and then I am, and those are good for it. My next one is my number one favorite fragrance, Mongerlan. This is a fresher, sweet, creamy, powdery, elegant, sophisticated, beautiful scent. I absolutely love this. This has, like I said, lavender. There's a little vanilla. This is absolutely the epitome of a beautiful, classy, elegant woman. I absolutely love this fragrance so much. I think this is my number one complimented fragrance. It's long lasting. It just, it's one of the best fragrances, honestly. This is definitely worth every penny. It is one of my favorite fragrances. I love it so much. All right, my next one is Carolina Herrera. This is Very Good Girl. Love this, love this bottle. This smells a lot like Delina, okay? I will layer it with the Delina body oil. This smells a lot like Delina mixed with Delina exclusive. So that first spray, you actually get that really tart, juicy Delina vibe, but this dries down a little bit sweeter and a little bit like more creamy and powdery, um, which makes me think of the exclusive version a little bit more. If you love Delina, I think you would really love this. Mm. This is so good. It's just so pretty. And let me tell you, when you layer it with the actual Delina body oil, it's magic. It's so pretty. All right, next we have Jimmy Choo Fever. This is a little bit newer as well. This is a very, this is a very fruity, sweet, heavy on the plum, kind of smells a little bit like caramel. It's rich, it's like, it's a very fruity, juicy, 
heavy, rich scent. It is so, so pretty, you guys. I love it. This is awesome in like colder weather. I'll wear it anytime, but it is really nice in the cold weather. It will last forever because it's just one of those scents that just really, especially on your clothes. But this is so sexy. If you're looking for a good, sexy scent and you actually want something that would work really great in the evening, again, I wear this anytime. I don't just pick the evenings or whatever. But if you're somebody that saves a little bit stronger, heavier scents for like date night, this is a perfect date night scent. So I love it so much. All right, my next perfume is actually from Bath & Body Works. This is Into the Night. You guys, this is my absolute favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I don't have to talk a lot about this. This is, I would say, like I, I've done a review recently, but like to me, these are very similar. This is just a little bit fruitier and has more of like a tart kind of scent, whereas this is a lot sweeter. But that's, this is the closest I could find to Into the Night. But... This is raspberry, patchouli, musk. It is absolutely delicious. I love this scent so much. I wish they would just bring back like the, I wish you could just get like the perfume all the time. Um, I, I very, very sparingly use that because I don't want to run out of it. All right, next is an oldie. This is Donna Karen New York. This is pure and I don't even know that they make this anymore. I think I've seen it though at like Nordstrom Rack. This is a vanilla, but this is like a clean vanilla, okay? This isn't like a foodie gourmand vanilla. This is somebody that wants to smell, like you don't wanna smell like food, but you like the scent of vanilla. This is perfect because it's just a very fresh, clean vanilla. Just kind of odd if you think about those that those words together, fresh, clean vanilla, but it really is. Um, this was, at the time this came out, this was like really unique because I think this was supposed to be like um, a very clean fragrance as far as like the ingredients. It's supposed to be like really healthy, really clean, like non-toxic ingredients. It's really pretty. I This is like my second or third bottle of it. But during its heyday, like back in, I think I got it in like 2013, not this bottle, but like when I originally discovered it, it was my favorite. It was like, I was really into this fragrance. All right. My next one is kind of a classic oldie. This is the number two Ralph Lauren. I don't know if you guys remember these bottles, like these, this scent. Okay. This smells like this smells almost identical to Juicy Couture, the Viva La Juicy, almost just like that. Like very, very similar. It's got a very sweet, like kind of a juvenile scent, but it, but it smells good because I don't know, there's just something about the fruit mixed with the sweet in this that to me, it's a little less cloying than the Viva La Juicy. I can't do the Viva La Juicy. It's just, there's just something about it that's just like a synthetic kind of sweet. This smells very similar, but something that they do with the, the um, fruit in this makes it like, I don't know, it smells a little bit fresher and cleaner and it's just, it's just better than the Viva La Juicy in my opinion. My next one is from Victoria's Secret. This is Bombshell Nights. This smells a lot like DNKY Be Delicious, that really um, tart apple, but it is, it's a little bit softer, okay? It's not quite as strong and juicy, but that's what it reminds me of. And I'm not a huge fan of any of the flankers really, but this was the one flanker that I liked. And this was a few, I don't even know if they release this one anymore or if this was like a one-time thing, but I still have quite a bit left in here. It still smells great. But out of all the flankers, this was definitely one that I like the best. It just has that really good, it's kind of like a sweet apple kind of scent. So this one was really pretty. Next is Clinique Happy Heart. This is like early 2000s. Clinique Happy had a huge, 
you know, back in the day, back in like the 90s, I know my cousin wore Happy. I never was a big fan of Happy because it reminded me too much of like, it was really orangey, like really citrus. This adds a little bit more of like a very sharp kind of floral note to it. It is a little citrusy, but like this is really strong and it just has that like floral punch. I mean, this is very, very very strong. You have to be careful with this one, but this is a great one for the summer. So like if you're going off, sometimes during the summer, it's hard to get scents to last because just, you know, the heat is just a little bit harder. This is one that is like so strong. You have to be careful spraying it, but it does last a lot. So I like wearing this in the summer, but it just reminds me of like the early 2000s. But I got this bottle, I had this years ago, and then I found it again on FragranceNet, and I got a great deal on it. I, I swear I think it was like 30 or $40. Like, it wasn't much at all. Uh, it's so good. This is like, if you stepped out of a shower, you smell extremely clean, but you have this like, very fresh, florally, tart fragrance on. It It's so good. Next, we have Amazing Grace from Philosophy. This is my safe perfume. I like wearing this to bed sometimes, or if I am going somewhere and I am needing, like if I need to be extremely careful about what I wear because I don't want to be offensive, you know, if I know I'm going to be around somebody that's kind of allergic to fragrances, or, you know, if I'm working and I, like, Working with a client, this is a great fragrance for like, if you work with clients, this is the most unoffensive, fresh, clean, soapy scent. Like, like you cannot be offended by this in any way, shape or form. It is just such a good, like clean, beautiful scent. So just a regular amazing grace. All right, next we have Aqualina Pink Sugar. This is just cotton candy sugar. It does have a little bit of like a burnt sugar note, but not too bad. I like it a lot better now than I used to. I used to hate it, but I'm getting, I'm more into sweet scents now. So I, so I definitely think I appreciate this more. Yeah, it just smells like really good cotton candy with like a little bit of fruitiness to kind of balance it out. It's really pretty. Next we have Jennifer Aniston. This is her, I don't remember what this is called. Is it just Jennifer Aniston? I think it's just Jennifer Aniston. So this reminds me so much of Bobby Brown Beach. It's very similar to that. It is a sunscreen, just warm. It doesn't smell like coconuts, but it's just like a fresh sunscreen kind of scent. This scent drives me crazy. I absolutely love it. The only, only, only thing is it lasts for like an hour or less. Like, I wish this was a little bit stronger because this would be such an amazing scent. But, I mean, you know, it's cheap. I don't think they make this anymore. You have to get it on, like, Amazon. But I'm telling you, I really love this. I just wish it lasted longer. All right, next we have my Ariana Grande Cloud and Cloud 2.0. These are very creamy, coconut, like, milky kind of smelling fragrances. I actually definitely prefer the original. I thought I preferred this version, but this version has like that woody kind of like, is it Ambroxan that it added? It added a note that like gives it that like kind of Baccarat Rouge vibe, like even more so than the original. But so many people say that this smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge. I don't get that at all because Baccarat Rouge does not smell like this to me. This actually smells way better in my opinion. But yeah, this is so pretty. This is very just sweet and creamy. And it's the, it's the kind of coconut that I like. It is just, it's just such a really like mild, sweet scent. It is just really pretty. Um, again, I definitely prefer this one over this one. So I would never, I think I would repurchase this one, um, but I would never get this one again. And I don't, I find that they're equally as long lasting. Like I don't feel like this is any longer. So even though so many people say they smell just like Baccarat, I don't get that. I, I can definitely smell those much better. All right, now we have my Miss Dior EDP. This is the 2017 version. This is discontinued, unfortunately. This is a very, 
strong, sweet, spicy, patchouli, yeah. like extremely sweet fragrance. I have to admit, I take back what I said about liking the new version better. I did a whole review on this and when I first got the new version, you can hear Teddy in the background, I'm sorry. Um, I got the new version and I thought I liked it better, but I really like this version. It is special and it is different. And I, I, I'm I, sad they got, they got rid of it. So I just use this very sparingly. I keep it like in a dark closet. Um, this is just very special and I love it. So the new Miss Dior is, um, I got the smaller bottle, but this is the newer version, the 20, I think 2021 version. I changed the formula. It is... Like it smells a little bit like the 2017. It's got a little bit of that Miss Dior like DNA to it, but they made it like a little bit lighter and the florals are different. It doesn't have that like spicy, deep, rich scent anymore. And it's not bad, but I think it's the dry down, you know, after wearing it quite a bit. I think it's the dry down I don't like as good. Um, it's just a little bit lighter and I do prefer the 2017, but it's still pretty. But you know, I changed my mind a lot and I did change my mind about that. All right, my next Miss Dior I have is the Blooming Bouquet. This is probably my favorite of the Dior fragrances. Since the 2017's been discontinued, this I love this. This smells, it reminds me a lot of like, not necessarily exactly how it smells, but like Amazing Grace, which is so fresh and clean and like not offensive. I feel the same way about this. This smells very sweet and it has like, I mean, it just smells fresh and clean. And I typically, like, like the older I get, I like sweeter scents, not necessarily like fresh scents, but this has such a sweetness to it as well, mixed with that like clean, the clean scent. It is so pretty. This is definitely my favorite. I absolutely love Blooming Bouquet. I think it is perfection. And then I have Absolutely Blooming. Now this one is probably my least favorite. This smells like, to me, kind of like the 2017 version as far as like the spicy and the patchouli, but it doesn't have that right, like rich sweetness about it. I don't know, there's just something about the notes of this that like makes me feel like the, the scent has gone bad. Like it, it smells like that to me. I don't think it has, but I don't know. There's just a note in here that's a little off-putting to my nose. Obviously I haven't worn it very much. But this one as well is also better in the winter time. I do um, wear my fragrances whenever I want, but there are a few scents that I cannot wear when it's hot. And this is one of them because it's just, I don't know. It's just such a, like a spicy, deep spicy scent. I don't know. Let me know if you have that one, the absolutely blooming. Because I know I've seen a lot of reviews that this is actually like people's favorite in the Miss Dior range, but it's probably like my least favorite. All right, next we have Amethyst by Lalique. This is like one that you can get on FragranceNet. I haven't really seen it anywhere else. I think maybe you can get it at like high-end department stores, but it is so inexpensive on FragranceNet. And Lalique is actually like, I think they're a crystal. I think they make crystal but they do have like a few fragrances. Um, this smells like a very fresh, juicy blackberry. It is very tart. The initial spray that comes out is so pungent in a way. <laughs> I hate to say that, but like that first spray, I'm like, I'm not gonna like this. But like within three seconds, no kidding, within like three seconds, that kind of dissipates and you smell like this sweet, rich berry kind of scent. And it actually smells really good. The dry down is fantastic. This is so refreshing in the summer. And I love, I mean, I absolutely love 
layering this with my Bath and Body Works Into the Night. I'm not kidding you guys. There's something magical about Into the Night and this scent. It, it's just, because this berry note plays really well off of like how fruity and tart that scent is. Oh my gosh, it is good. It is good and it's unique. And I don't think many people know about this scent. So I feel like it's kind of unique, you know? This is kind of similar. This is Stella McCartney, just the original Stella. This is more of a rose scent though, but it is very juicy, sweet. It's kind of like a very youthful rose. Sometimes rose can smell very stuffy and powdery. This is not that. This is a juicy rose, a very fresh rose. Um, this literally always reminded me, years ago, I had this rose in my garden. It was like a bluish purple rose. It was actually called a blue girl rose, the most beautiful rose. And it had the most amazing scent. It was like the best smelling rose I have ever like had or seen in my entire life. And this smells so much like a blue girl rose. It smells so good. Now, I don't know if they still make this. I think you can still widely get it on like FragranceNet and like discount sites, but I am not 100% sure if this is like still a current fragrance. All right, my next two are from Tiffany and Company. I have the original like the EDP um, Tiffany and Company perfume. This is a very strong iris floral scent, but it dries very sweet. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I first got this scent, I was crazy about it. Obviously I used the heck out of it. And it, my tastes have changed. I mean, I got this scent like years and years ago. And I like how it smells when it initially comes out, but the dry down, there's just something that just doesn't agree with me anymore. Like it's got this kind of like, I don't know, it's sweet, but it is not the kind of sweet that I like. And it's a very fresh scent. Like I said, the initial spray I really like, but I don't love the dry down on this anymore, but I love the bottle. It is really pretty though. I keep, like I said, I keep fragrances I'm not using in a very dark like closet where I have like some scents. So, you know, I'm gonna put this away, which I have for a while, and then maybe revisit it, revisit it in the future because, you know, my husband had gotten this for me like a few years ago. I mean, this was like such a surprise from him. I did not ask him for this scent. He knows how much I love Tiffany stuff and he surprised me with this. So it is sentimental, but I don't know. There's just something about it that's just not like, mixing with me these days. He also surprised me with the Tiffany & Company Rose Gold. Now this is definitely more my speed. This also has kind of like that rose note, but it is a very soft, fresh, slightly powdery, but a very elegant rose, okay? It is not a stuffy, like, it's not a stuffy rose. It's not quite as like sharp as like the Stella McCartney rose, but it is a very, like, I don't love clean scents very much anymore, but like this is one that I do like because I do love floral and it's like a really good mixture of the rose, the floral rose, but then it is still kind of clean. And the dry down is just so soft and pretty. I love this. I actually wore this to when I had my job interview. To me, it's good for things like that, like job interviews, um, anywhere you want to smell professional and elegant and a little bit like elevated, this is that perfect scent because it's just so, I don't know, it's just got that special specialness about it. All right, next we have Coco. This is my Mademoiselle. This is the EDT version. I like this, but it's not very long lasting and... I don't know. I ha This had its moment for me a while back, but I don't love it as much as I used to. I definitely love it better than like the actual perfume version. I do have the mini travel. I'm going to do my travel scents like last. So that's why I haven't, it's not with this, but 
I like it and it's kind of, I come and go with it. Sometimes I kind of get over it and then when I haven't used it in a while, I'll, I like it again. I wear this any time of year. It is a, a scent that I feel like is great in the winter just as it is in the summer, spring. So it's a good like signature scent, I would say, but it definitely has a little bit of patchouli and um, I feel like this is a very mature scent and I like it, but I don't know. I just have to kind of be in the mood for it. All right, next I have this Way Melrose Place. I got this like quite a few years ago now. This was just such an impulse buy. I was at Ulta. I'm telling you, I've had this for a few years and you can see how much I've used. Okay, this smells a lot like the Way, um, the really good body lotion that's really popular. It comes in like a jar and it's kind of green and it has like a spa scent. This smells exactly like that. Like this is a clean spa scent, which I really like, okay? Like even though I'm not into super clean scents anymore, it's not like a citrusy kind of clean. It is a soapy clean, which I do like, but it lasts, the blasting power on this to me is not very good. So I think that's why I don't love it as much, but I grab it occasionally when I'm kind of in the mood for it, but it does smell exactly like that, that body lotion. So when I do wear it, I think I usually wear this more in the summer. When I do wear it, if you pair it with the lotion, it will be a little bit longer lasting. All right, next we have J'adore from Dior. This is fruity, juicy, sweet. I don't think there's any honey in it, but I always say it makes me think of honey. This is, to me, this smells like a very mature woman. I don't feel like it's like a young scent. Um, of course, you can wear whatever you want, no matter what age you are. But this definitely makes me think of like a mom who is like, okay, you're a mom, but you're still like sexy, young. Like you feel sexy, you feel young, you feel cool. You wear this. That's what it reminds me of. So even though I don't feel like it is a young scent, I don't mean that like, I don't mean that in any disrespectful way at all. You can wear whatever you want. It smells like a cool mom. I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. Yeah. I like it and my husband really likes this one too. So that was a gift a few Christmases ago. All right, next we have Musk Noir Rose from Narcisco Rodriguez. I got this last year. This smells, all right, this smells exactly like Lush. Lush Rose Jam and Vanillary. So if you're familiar with those two scents, this is like those two scents mixed. It is a creamy, sweet, jammy rose. And it smells really good. This is a good one, you guys. This is such a good one. I haven't worn it as much as I would like to. I do really like it. It is very deep and warm and very sweet. So yeah, I am gonna put this in my rotation to wear it, wear it more. When I first got this, I had just found out that I broke my ankle and I was going through a really hard time. And not that I think like this reminds me of that time, but like I had just gotten it and I was really excited to start wearing it. And then I couldn't go anywhere. I literally had to stop working. I stopped going anywhere. I wasn't going to church. I wasn't going to the store. I wasn't going anywhere. So I kind of like, put this away because I was so excited to wear it. I just didn't have anywhere to wear it to. And I didn't want to wear it like to the doctor. I didn't want to have that scent memory. So this kind of got sidelined for a while, but I'm ready to get this back out because I really like it. All right, next we have Burberry Her. This is a, okay, this smells a lot like Cloud. A little fruitier though. It's got more of a strawberry note but it smells very much like Cloud, especially like the 2.0 version. I still like Cloud a lot better. This smells more synthetic to me though. I'm not a big fan of Burberry Her, and I have used it because at one point I really did like it and it's kind of a small bottle, so it's not taking me that long to go through it, but there is such a synthetic sweet note with this that is not my favorite. 
I definitely prefer like the cloud over this, but if you like cloud or the Baccarat kind of scents, yeah, you'll like this, but it's it's just okay for me. It's not like my favorite, but I know this is this is a lot of people's like holy grail fragrance. All right, next we have Guess Seductive. I ended up selling the Seductive Noir because that was way too masculine for me. This is a really good, sexy scent, you guys. And honestly, I haven't worn it as much. So this one came without a cap because I think this was a tester bottle from, I mean, it was brand new, it hadn't been used, but it was a tester bottle from FragranceNet. And so I feel like because of that, it wasn't one I was like sitting out in my fragrances, like my displays. So I was kind of putting it away and I just kind of forget about it. But this is a, like, it's not super sweet. It's definitely more of like a sexy floral kind of scent and kind of musky, but the musk is very nice. It's not a deep, you know, dirty kind of musk. It is a like warm, sexy, flirty musk. This is really pretty, you guys. I'm gonna have to put this out because I forgot how much I like this. All right, we're getting there. Next, we have Cloud Musk Auto Perfume number 21. This is a cheapie from Target, um, their mix, mix Bar line. This is actually like a really good, very light, creamy, cloudy kind of scent. It does remind me of Cloud a little bit, just like very light. This is just a really good like bedtime scent very light or again one of those fragrances you don't want to be offensive it's not heavy but i do feel like when i wear this i'll get like you know even after i've had it on for a while it's like you kind of get like little whiffs of it so it's actually really nice i just haven't worn it as much again i think i had to put it away for a while but it's not bad all right next we have guerlain this is Insolence, the EDT version. Okay, this had like kind of a popular moment on YouTube for a while. A lot of people were talking about it. This smells like straight up like pixie sticks. It is extremely sweet and someone described it as like smelling like fairies. <laughs> and I like, if fairies had a scent, they would smell like this for sure. It is extremely sweet candied violets. That's what it smells like, that's what it is. And it's not really my vibe because I like sweet, but there's just something like too, I don't know. This isn't a bad scent, but I don't know. It's just too sweet and screechy for me, but I am known to change my mind, so. We will just, we keep this in the closet. It might be one that I will come around to. All right, next we have Orientica Amber Rouge. I got this because apparently this was a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. This smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge. The notes that I pick up from Baccarat Rouge, this smells identical. It is a very medicinal, like woody, earthy scent. And it's not my favorite at all. This is such a pretty bottle, but I don't, I don't really, like I don't get any sweetness from this. This is just very like medicinal and woody and kind of like one of those ozonic kind of scents. So this was kind of a flop for me. I already took my Baccarat Rouge oil back in there, but this smells exactly like the Baccarat Rouge oil to my nose, so. And then we have, I think this is my last full-size bottle. This is Michael Kors Turquoise. I don't think they make this anymore. This is such a good scent, you guys. This literally smells like, like the ocean. Okay, turquoise is a perfect word for this. This is sweet and aquatic and such a unique scent in my collection because I don't really have a lot of like aquatic type of scents. I do have, you know, 
my beachier scents, but those smell like sunscreen. This actually reminds me of ocean water. There's just something about it that just smells like ocean and I love it. And I don't think they make this anymore. This is my last bottle. I had bought quite a few. They were on sale at Kohl's when I think this was being discontinued, but I absolutely love this so much. It is such a unique scent, especially in my collection, and I really like it. All right, you guys, I was wrong. I said that was my last full bottle, but actually I found another one. This is Valentino, um, Valentina Pink. This is such a good scent, you guys. This literally smells like pink roses, like sweet pink roses, but it's very soft. This is discontinued, you, can, you can't get it anymore. So it makes me like really sad. And when I get fragrances that are like, discon I had no idea it was discontinued, but it's like, I don't even wanna wear it that much because like, I don't wanna fall in love with it and then not be able to find it, you know? Cause I don't even think I can find this on FragranceNet anymore. But it is kind of along the lines of like, kind of reminds me of Stella McCartney, just not as strong of a rose. It's not as like, tangy or punchy of a rose. It's a little bit softer. It also kind of reminds me of Rose Jam from Lush. A jammy rose. And it smells so good. And I'm really sad that it's discontinued, but, and the bottle is like so pretty. But I really do like it. I need to get this out and use it. Even though it's discontinued, it makes me sad. But this is to me just like the color. It's probably like my favorite pink. Like I love hot pink. This is the same color that's on my toes right now. It just makes me happy. All right, and finally, let's just do some roller balls. I'll talk about the roller balls that I have. So I do have quite a few roller pens or sprays in my purse. I have um, Burberry Her that came in a set. I have that in my purse. I have a flower bomb in my purse, and I also have a Mondrelan. I have those purse sprays. Um, this is K Ali Deja Vu White Flower, uh, number 57. This is like a mini baby spray. This came in like a gift set, um, from Sephora. Okay. This is not a scent I can wear without mixing it because there is a bitter note to this. It's kind of like, it's, it's a little sweet, but it is mainly this very like, bitter white flower and I do not like it by itself. I have to mix it with something sweet, but if I can mix it with something sweet, like a vanilla fragrance, it actually smells really good. So mixing it is the only way I can wear this if this is not my favorite and like I wouldn't purchase a full bottle of this. I have the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, like the roller, they're called roller pearls, but you know, this is my favorite, Miss Dior. I've already talked about the Blooming Bouquet. I love that. I love having this, throw this in my purse because this isn't necessarily like one of the longest lasting fragrances. So it is nice to have that for my bag. I have the Chanel. This is Chanel Mademoiselle, but this is the intense version, which I like so much better because this adds a little bit of vanilla so it's a little less patchouli and a little bit more vanilla and a little sweeter than like the classic um, Mademoiselle. And I like that a lot. And I love, absolutely love the travel pen. And it came with like three little vials to go in here. So this has actually lasted quite a long time. I have Midnight Amber Glow from Bath and Body Works. I don't love this. This smells like kind of coffee, amber kind of scent. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Um, I also have Dream Bright from Bath and Body Works. This smells kind of like, okay, this is really sweet, sweet and fruity. And I think the notes of this are like sapphire berries. And a lot of people compare this to Into the Night. But to me, this is a little less of that good like mocha sexy scent. And this is just a little bit lighter and fruitier. This actually really isn't bad though. I do like this a little bit better, a lot better than the, the Midnight Amber. Um, and I have like the spray and the lotion. And I did wear this the other day and I, I think I do like this scent. It's, it's nowhere near into the night, but it's not a bad one. 
All right, this, so we have replica bubble bath. All right, this is like my first replica scent. Some of them are just way too different for me, like by the fireplace or jazz club. My husband cannot stand any of those. Like he, they're just like too much for him. He's, they're just, I don't know. They're just doing the most. And a lot of people love those scents. They're, they are very unique, but it's just not his favorite. So it's not anything that I've ever gravitated towards. But this, when I bought it at the time, I thought this was very unique. It does very, very much smell like, like you would think a bubble bath would, very clean, but it's got that same kind of, that same screechy note that I described for my Tiffany perfume, and I don't love it. I liked it a lot more when I first got it. I think my daughter actually likes this, so I think I'm gonna give it to her, but it's just a very fresh and clean kind of scent. I'm not really into that anymore. So I liked it a lot when I first got it, but it's not really my favorite anymore. This is Stella McCartney. This is just a little um, roller ball of the original Stella McCartney. I love it. So I like having that to throw in my purse. This is Gucci Bloom Natari de Fiori. Um, I've smelled the original Gucci Bloom and this smells a lot like it. They didn't have the original Gucci Bloom when I got this. They only had the flanker. Now, I don't know if this is a flanker that was just like, you know, sometimes they bring flankers out and they're they're not like, they're only out for like a limited time. So I don't know if this is like a permanent flanker, but it does smell enough like the original Gucci Bloom to me. It is a very, very, very heavily floral, fragrance with like a little bit of sweetness, but this just smells really good actually. It is very floral, very tart. Um, if you like any kind of florals, you'll love like the, the Gucci Bloom line because it is a very, 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 very strong floral. Like I feel like it lasts a long time too. And then this is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. I have like another vial. I, this came with like three of these vials. Mm -hmm. I bought this when we went on a cruise like three years ago and I love it. This is like the best thing ever for travel. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Bronze Goddess smells like coconuts. It smells like sunscreen. It smells like tropics. If you know Bronze Goddess, then you know. And if you've never tried it, you have to try it especially if you love like suntan, summer, um, like warm coconut kind of scents. This is like a legend. She's a legend and I really love it. And I'm so glad I have it in this travel thing. We're actually going on another cruise this year. So I'm so excited about that. And I, it's so easy. Um, this was just such a great buy. At the time I remember the the three little vials that came in it, this whole set equaled like, I think it equaled like a 1.7 ounce. And I got the travel kit thing for like way cheaper than a, like a full size bottle. So it served its purpose at the time I bought it because I wanted it for travel and I've just loved having it. And it's so good to throw in your pool bag or your beach bag for the summer, excellent. And then I have, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. This is my very first Killian fragrance, princess. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you and say this is probably, and this is a bold statement, but this is one of the best fragrances that I have ever smelled in my entire life. A, this fragrance is perfection in my opinion. Like it smells like marshmallows and there is this green tea note, which I know sounds strange, but it just gives it a little bit of something to like balance out the sweetness. This is the best, I mean the absolute best smelling fragrance, but, and this is a big but, it doesn't last. This lasts for like 
an hour, two hours tops. Even when you spray it on your clothes, I feel like it's not long lasting. This is the most disappointing fragrance because of that, because the scent is so, so good. Like, I love this scent so much and it just doesn't last. So I don't think, because of that reason, I don't know that I'm ever gonna get a full-size bottle of it. Maybe, but it's heartbreaking that this is so, like, such a light scent. Like, when it first, when you first spray it, it's, it smells really strong and it seems like it's gonna last, but it does not last. And so many people have said that, but a lot of people don't care because they do love it. I love it. Like, I love this scent so much you guys it is so good i just wish they would make it longer lasting which these are not cheap so can somebody explain why like you can make such an amazing fragrance but you can't make it last like this needs to be reformulated to smell exactly the same but to have stronger lasting power it's just heartbreaking like this is a travesty <sighs> Yeah. All right, you guys, that is my complete fragrance collection. So I have done reviews on quite a few of the ones that I've shown you, but if you see a fragrance that I haven't talked about and you do want me to do a review and you've been curious about it, please let me know. And let me know if you have any suggestions about, okay, let me know if you have a dupe for this Killian fragrance because I love this scent. If you have something that smells so similar, particularly because of the marshmallow note, which is my absolute favorite, please let me know. Because this is hands down one of the best scents I've ever smelled. I'm just, I just wish it would last longer, so. Yeah, very, very, very sad. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry this was 100 years long, but hopefully it was helpful. And if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about, just let me know. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.